We have a strong desire to belong, and I would guess a lot of people have been in classrooms where they didn't necessarily feel like they belonged. I believe through the work we're doing in BAR that it gives us an opportunity to break down that barrier. BAR was established on always looking at things from a strength-based lens because, quite frankly, if you don't start with what's right, then you're always working from a deficit model. A strength-based approach means that everyone that you're discussing, everyone you're looking at, you are recognizing that there is something really good about that person and that that's the conversation starter and that, yes, we're continuing to work on areas that need to grow, but when BAR is put in place, everybody is looking for what's right in this kid. That's what BAR is. So it stands for Building Assets, Reducing Risks, and it's predicated on two pillars building positive intentional relationships, staff to student, student to student, staff to staff, and data, both quantitative and qualitative data. Elementary schools are traditionally known as building relationships, knowing their students. We always are missing the data piece. How can we do data better? It's harder because we're so hands-on and we kind of do more observations. There's not that hard, are you passing the class or failing the class? If an elementary school does bar, they can expect a lot. Teachers are going to collaborate more. They're going to feel more supported by their administrators. They're going to use data more effectively. As a result, I mean, students feel excited about coming to school. They feel engaged in school. They feel supported by their teachers. And then we get those academic outcomes. They have higher math and reading scores, and they are prepared for the next grade. When you look at how much time they spend with the students, and the growth that they see over the course of the year. That just is a wealth of knowledge and information that typically isn't shared, and BAR is a way that is allowing teachers to effectively and systematically, in a structured way, share all that information. So we have small block and big block meetings, and teachers bring their information that they've learned about kids, so that you know, you've always got that information. What their strengths are, what their interests are, if they have connections to school, all that's recorded and uh, used to benefit. Like it's very clear like who's in charge of what, we're keeping ourselves on track of time, we actually have timekeepers. Through the different meetings and the trainings that teachers go through together, they really start to build meaningful relationships together, staff to staff. You know, when you're working together, it isn't as heavy on your shoulders because you know you've got people that you can talk to that will give you ideas that are valuable and they're, and they're in the same place that you are in. That's what BAR is all about, is creating those meaningful relationships. And because teachers are actively searching for the, a student's strengths, when they turn that around and they talk to kids, that really helps students feel a part of the school itself. Every student that walks through the door deserves to have every adult know who they are, and they are seen, and they are important, and not just for their academic, but who they are as a student, as a child.